I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll try to find probability in the game of cards. I've taken up example here in the game of Indian poker, which is played with three cards. Here, we're trying to show you two types of sequences. Ace to three is a sequence where the suits are mixed. And then we have a sequence, 10 Jack Queen, which are all from the same suit, right? So both are treated as a straight, but this one is a flush straight. We call it color sequence, and this is mixed sequence. Probability of getting the color sequence is very low as compared to getting that of ace to three mixed up sequence, right? Now sequences could be like eight, nine, 10, jack, queen, king, all those consecutive cards will form a sequence, right? So consecutive cards in increasing value will form a set of sequence. And if they are all from the same suit, we call it a color sequence or a straight sequence. It's considered to be a very high card. Now let us see what is the probability of such sequences. To start with, let's take up an example with the color sequence, right? So we'll try to find probability of color sequence. Now you could also call this as probability of a straight flush. This term straight flush is normally used in the game of poker, but we'll say when we are working with three cards. In poker, we normally work with five cards, right? So let us see how to find the probability of such a color sequence, right? Now here, what you need to consider is, first, in your sample space, what are all the combinations? So let's say the sample space, we are selecting three cards, and that is to be performed from 52 cards, right? So 52 C3 is all the combinations. Order really doesn't matter because a set of three could be treated either way as same, right? So, so that is the sample space, which is 52 C3 equals to 22 100, right? So that is the prob that is the denominator for us <clears throat> when we're trying to find the probability. Now, for a straight flush or a color sequence, how to find the outcomes which are favorable? So let's call this event as A, right? So we're calling this event as A. Then favorable options are, first, we need to select the color. So we'll do it in two steps. Step number one is select color. Okay, so as far as the color is concerned, we have options from four different colors, right? So it is, it is one of those four different colors, right? Now, if you select a color after that, how do we make the other selection? Well, let's get back to the sequence itself. The sequence which you can form could be uh, three, two, three, two, one, which is ace in this case, or it could be like four, three, two, or kind of be five, four, three. But you cannot start a sequence with two. Do you see that? So what we will do now here is we'll select what this term could be, right? So we have a choice of only selecting numbers other than two, right? So we have to select one of those, right? So, so the second option is we have to select the value of the card in the sequence. When you say value, then the highest one, which is we are treating ace as one now, okay? Okay, so in that case, you cannot select two. So you have to select one out of 12. So we get option as from 12, we have to select one, okay? Once you select that, then the sequence is well defined. You get an idea. Therefore, for a color sequence, that becomes the favorable chances. And the probability for the color sequence will be the ratio 
of these two, right? So in our case, it is going to be 52C3 divided by 4 times 12C1. So let's calculate this. I'm sorry. I wrote it in the reverse order. So let me write 22100 in the denominator, which is a sample space and 4 times 12C1, correct? So we have 4 times 12C1 and that gives us 48. So we have 48 over 22100 and that gives us the probability as so 48 divided by 22100 is equals to in decimals it is 0 0.00217 it's pretty low to get a color sequence right now let's do the next event which is we're calling it a straight right or a sequence so in case of sequence the suits could be mixed up right that's what i'm trying to say a sequence will be the one in which suits are mixed up right so it is not necessary to have all of one kind do you see that so that will become a sequence do you see it is not necessary to get all of the same suits so the probability of such a sequence is much higher so let us see how to find probability of a sequence well in this case the sample space is same we are selecting three cards right so in this game we are selecting three cards so total number of options are 52 c3 which is 22 100 but how many are favorable when we do this so in this case we have to select a card so when you select a card it could be from 12 cards right so it is not you cannot select two as you learned here with two you cannot form a sequence so you are selecting a card so it is out of 12 we select value of the card so it could be three four five six seven eight nine ten jack king queen or ace right so so that is these are the 12 cards which you could select from correct okay? now once you select this uh, sequence then you have to select the color so the color in this case is you could select any color out of four correct any color out of four for the whole sequence and you are selecting three positions so this could be of any color this could be of any color this could be of any color out of four so that gets multiplied by four cube do you see that so that becomes total number of favorable chances for selecting a sequence. However, out of these you learn that so many are pure sequences. Do you see that? So we have to take away these which are pure sequences. So we'll take away 4 times 12C1. You get an idea, right? So therefore, we could write this as 12C1 times 4 cube minus 4 so these four are actually straight flushes which are not considered to be the sequences these are much higher whose probability we found earlier right so that becomes the total favorable for a sequence now in this case probability of event b will be 12 c1 times 4 cube minus 4 divided by 52 c3 right so that becomes the probability so let's calculate this number so we have 12 c1 times within bracket 4 cube minus 4 which is 720 divided by 52 c3 is 22 100 let's divide by divided by 22 100 and that gives us in decimals a number which is 0 0.0325 let's say 8 right so that becomes the probability for getting a sequence which is not a color sequence right now you can compare these two so you'll find 
huge difference. So this is much higher than the color sequence, correct? So I hope that gives you a clear idea of how to calculate probability for a sequence in the game of cards where we are dealing with three cards. Now as an exercise for you, what you can do is you can find the probability of dealing straight flush straight flush in the game of poker where we are dealing five cards okay so where we are dealing five cards right and also find the probability of getting five straight cards that means in the game of poker we are distributing five cards three to five so a sequence of five cards so that will be the probability for five straight cards so do not include those which are of the same color in this set to get the right answer right so that ways we'll understand how to find probability in the game of poker also i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps in understanding how to find probability in the game of cards. Thank you and all the best.